in this video, we're going to talk about how to configure the analog output of an ATV630 drive using SoMove. Um, so first of all, in SoMove, we can follow this on the same keypad as well, though the menu tree may look a little different, but it should be similar enough that it should be able to do it. But in SoMove, you want to be under the parameter list. And under parameter list, to configure analog output configuration, you need to go under complete settings and go down to input outputs right here. Now under input outputs, you have your analog input assignments here uh, to see what they're programmed as. Uh, now the relays are here as well, but the one we're more interested in is about analog input and output tab. Um, on your keypad, there's a little tab to hit on the bottom of the display to get into this menu. But uh, once you're in here, you have two analog outputs that are default on the ATV 600 drive, analog output one and analog output two. Now, the the normal assignment for the analog output is usually motor frequency, though it can be not assigned as well, depending on uh, what version drive you have. But you want to come in here and change that to whatever is needed. Uh, some things like motor current, just realize that the range for what that is, is not just a zero to 100% the rating of the motor. Uh, it's actually two times the rating of the drive is the max. So the scaling might be a little different. So be careful about that. But for some things like frequency, that should be fine. And uh, of course the type is really changed whether it's a voltage or current scale. Uh, current is the most common one. And the minimum and maximum values is also important. Uh, normally you wanna have a, a four milliamp uh, minimum or four to 20 milliamp, though that can be changed as well if needed to something else. And the last thing I want to mention here is the analog output filter time. If there's a lot of noise induced or if there is a um, any kind of instability in general, uh, you can add a filter time to uh, help with that. And normally having a one second is plenty. You don't have to do this, but if you are noticing that the analog output is jumping a little bit or if it's causing your own end uh, panel or display, whatever that may be, that is using this feedback is not stable, then definitely that would make sense. And that's basically it. Now, the other thing I want to mention here is, um, before I uh, finish this video for you, is that the frequency is actually based upon the max frequency. So make sure that the max frequency under simply start, we can go in there and um, it's right here. Make sure it's those 60 hertz and not something else, okay? Now, when you make your drive be a 60 hertz rating, this actually does change your max frequency to 72 automatically. So just be aware of that. So if you wanna have 100% scaling where um, uh, 60 is actually 20 milliamps as an example, this has to be 60 hertz not 72 okay so keep in mind there are some things that can change the scaling like that um and this concludes the video on how to set up the analog output of an atv 630 drive